Hello everyone, it's Marissa and welcome to another video. It's officially summer and I can't wait to paint outdoors. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Marissa Sweet. I am a landscape painter and I've been teaching acrylics and oils for the last 17 years. In today's video, I'm going to show you what's inside my knapsack. I do love to paint outdoors and sometimes we have to go for longer hikes to get to the scene that we want to paint and you can't just bring the whole studio with you. So you gotta be practical on what you need to bring. In this video, I'm going to show you what's inside my backpack and from there you can determine what is essential for you to bring when you paint outdoors. So let's open this up and I'll show you what's inside. So this is my backpack. On the outside pocket here, I have, uh, I always bring with me gloves because I do paint in oils. So I kind of have to protect my skin. I also bring wet ones, which is an antibacterial hand wipe. So I can also um, wipe my hands after I finish painting. I do have a brush cleaner here which has mineral spirits it's really nice and and uh, the locking system is really very good I also have a carabiner so I can hang it on my tripod on very windy days just to add weight I also bring with me a water bottle and I put it on this outside pocket so it's handy and easily accessible. I also bring a Tilly hat and I like a Tilly hat because it's waterproof and it also um, is very good in protecting me from UV rays. So I put it sometimes on a carabiner if I don't want to use it, but most of the time I'm using this Tilly hat. Over the years, I was able to collect a number of pins from art associations that I belong to. And in this pocket here, I always have a lemon essential oil. It's very good to um, keep your spirits up and keep your energy up when you're out there in the field. I also have a bottle opener with me because sometimes it's hard to open my paint tubes and it helps me open. I have my business cards and a cutter to sharpen pencils. I have candy and these are all my drawing materials. So a link on the description will tell you what they all are. My favorite one here is the um, wet brush. I like it because it's got a area here where you can put water, so it's a water brush and it helps me if I would like to give my drawing some shading. I also have a pastel pencil and a ballpoint pen and another bottle opener a hog brush and a dime. I don't know what it's there for but it's been there forever so I'm just keeping it there. So that's in the outside pocket because I normally do a thumbnail sketch before I begin painting on the field. So inside my backpack here, I have a granola bar. Always bring a snack with you because uh, you have to keep your sugar levels up. I have a viewing card which helps me decide and crop out uh, everything in the landscape. I also bring a sketchbook 
it's uh, portable and uh, this is where I do all my thumbnail sketches in deciding the composition of my landscape. I sometimes write a little bit of um, my experience in, in the landscape, a little bit of a diary there so I remember the moment. I have paper towels and also when you're out in the field I bring a plastic bag to keep garbage and um, other things contained. Whatever you bring in you always have to take out. Sunscreen and bug spray but of course you can also use essential oils. Uh, they're very very good as a insect repellent. I have more wet ones or wet towels um, and here I have my walnut alkyd medium. I put it in a Ziploc bag to keep it from leaking and I also have an alcohol isoprofil alcohol in a spray uh, bottle container. I bring bungee cords. I have a larger one or medium size one and also a smaller one. And when I was doing this video, I noticed that I had oil paint, so I have to wipe it off a little bit. It was still wet, so always bring paper towels or rags like this in your in your bag. This is the small bungee cord and I like to bring this because sometimes I also use it to hang my brush cleaner and hang it onto my tripod so that it adds some weight to my easel, especially on windy days. I keep all my oil paints in a Ziploc bag and this is my apron and what I like about my apron is I also use it as a brush case so I have areas here where I can just keep my brushes all together so I don't need the brush case anymore and I have another area here for my palette knives I keep them all in here and then once I'm done I just put them all back into my apron and away I go. So this is essentially what I bring when I go out to do a plein air painting. Uh, it's just sufficient for me. It's got everything I need. Now if you're going out on a longer stay, so let's say you're going out for a weekend and or I belong to the East Central Art Association that we go out for paint outs for a weekend, um, two days, three nights convention, then I can bring more paints or I can even bring um, more brushes and uh, really go uh, gung-ho with with materials but for me this is all I need to do a nice plein air for two to three hours I bring a separate purse with me because I like to keep it separate from my painting gear. So here I have my wallet and I have loose change on the outside pocket. Um, and then I also put in my shades and my reading glasses and my phone. So it really depends on your, your backpack as well. You may have more areas to put all this. But I just like to keep it separate. And there you have it. Uh, that's what I bring in my knapsack. Um, I hope this video has inspired you to paint outdoors or 
has also given you tips on what to bring, what is essential to bring um, for yourself, and you get a nice experience when you paint outdoors. In my next video, I'm going to show you uh, a few of my um, easels that I bring with me. I have a favorite one and I ordered it from the States and um, it's uh, it, it just works for me. Um, I love it and I use it all the time. But you don't have to buy expensive easels when you go outdoors. Uh, you can even just go out with a sketchbook, uh, a small watercolor uh, pad, um, some watercolor um, pans uh, and paint. Yeah, you don't have to even spend a lot of money to start enjoying um, capturing the beauty of nature outdoors to bring it inside. Um, it's always nice to just um, be one with nature and be one with the landscape that you're trying to paint. And for me, that gives me a lot of encouragement. Um, it gives me a lot of nourishment for my soul. And I hope it also allows you to um, be in touch with Mother Nature and to appreciate um, sunshine and, and uh, life, you know. So anyway, I'm rambling. So I'm going to end this video now and thank you for tuning in. If you like this video, please subscribe and click that like button um, and also ring that bell so that you get notified on the next video. I'll see you again, again, it's Marissa Sweet, sweet out.